Hi, my name is Lana, and today I'm going to share with you a simple natural remedy called Nature's Penicillin. It is used for colds, flus, for infections, respiratory problems. You can use it even just to boost your immune system if you feel something might be coming on. Really, it's not an exact science, but I'm showing you a couple of the stronger ones that I like to use. You can use just the juice of a lemon, some grapefruit, some uh, onion, and a little bit of honey, and that's fine too. You can use just lemon juice and garlic. That's fine too. Use what's in your hand. So today though, I'm going to make a very strong one that I used um, quite often. I really like this one. Particularly, I used it with someone who had a really severe sinus infection and their face was swelling quite rapidly. And once I applied this, it took care of the infection right away. So what you're going to need, three lemons. Now I've washed and prepared all this fruit in here. So you're going to just leave the skin and everything on. So we're just going to slice it up and fire it right in the pot. Ooh, that smells good. Lemons have so many good qualities for our body. Lemons alkaline your body. The juice of a lemon in the morning is really good for your body. It's great for the liver. Boosts your immune system. So we want to throw those lemons in there. Then we want to put a grapefruit in there. Grapefruits have a lot of good qualities as well. They, they are known to reduce fever. They're good for, um, if you're fatigued, you can take the juice of a grapefruit. It's great, it's got quinine, which is helpful even in malaria. It's great stuff. I like to put an orange too, you don't have to. But today, we're going to stick an orange in there as well. Chop it all up. Looks lovely. Can you see what's going on in there? Looks beautiful. Now, we're going to take a half to a whole onion. Medium, medium one. We're going to use the whole thing. So we're making a batch here. You don't really have to peel it because we are going to be just putting all the scraps away anyway, but we're going to peel it off. So onions are really good too. They're very good for the immune system, good for fighting fever as well. Onions are even used for poultices, for drawing, drawing out toxins from the body and also used for pain in a poultice. So you don't have to be too small. So we're just going to fire it all in our pot. <clears throat> Nature's antibiotic garlic. We are actually going to put three bulbs of garlic. And lots of times, I don't even worry about the skin. This has a core in it, so I'm just going to remove the core. Because the skin has good properties in it too. So you just chop her up. And this is quite sticky. Garlic has a phytochemical called allicin, and allicin is a very strong natural antibiotic. I had a friend who had quite an abscess, and he asked me to help him out with it. I was working on his farm. He was a natural farmer, and he said, well, do you know what I can do for my abscess in my mouth. So I said, well, I can make you some 
nature's penicillin, but all we had was one grapefruit. We had some onion, we had some garlic. So I had, they also had some lemon juice in the fridge and I used that too. I made that for him. I also made him a really great poultice for in the mouth, a potato poultice with some clove oil, which really helps with the pain of a tooth abscess. And he did that for the day and he was fine. All the swelling went away. His infection went away. He was really happy about that. So again, we are just going to chop this up. All three of them. It's strong medicine. And like I said, you know, don't be worried. If you don't have all the ingredients, use what's in your hand and God will bless it. go there so there we have our nice combination of onion garlic and the lovely fruits that are good for our body we are going to put I already started the kettle we want about six cups of water in with this and we're gonna put on the stove and just bring it to a boil. About five minutes. All right, so our next one we are going to use is more like a pudding. It's a little stronger too. This one, you need a blender. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You use what's in your hand and God will bless. Got some garlic, you got some onion. You got a lemon or grapefruit, that's all you need. So we are going to leave the skin on because there's some really great phytochemicals in the skins of the fruit. So we're just going to cut this up and put this in our blender. Now, um, we have a high-powered blender here. We have a Vitamix, which is a great blender. We are going to use, again, all the lemon as well. and an orange. The skin does make it bitter, so if you do want to remove some of the skins, you just go ahead and peel some of it off. But there's great phytochemicals in there. Now these two recipes are stronger antibiotic and this one you would take by spoon throughout the day. An adult should take about a cup and a child about a half a cup throughout the day. looking lovely. We are only going to use half of this onion. And of course we are going to peel the onion because this we're just going to take right once it's blended up just the way it is. You want to use two or three cloves, even four cloves, because it depends on what the person can take that you're giving it to. So it's a really nice way to um, 
get the skin off of a garlic as you just take the flat side of your knife. Be very careful, you don't want to hit your hand to the blade. Give it a smack. And cut the end off and the skin just pops right out. And yeah, we don't want to put the skin of the garlic in here either. And we will put one more, just because I have it here. That Allison is so sticky. It's great stuff. Really good for you. All right. So it doesn't take long to make a medicine. Let food be your medicine. Just going to set this aside. All right. Oops, we need some of this. Need a little bit of water in here so we can spin those blades. Okay. Here we go. It's going to be a little noisy. Great job. Looks pretty good. And we are going to add three drops of peppermint oil. Get some oxygen. I think I put more. <laughs> Gets oxygen into the blood cells. Gets uh, the circulation going. It'll help clear the nasal passages. So we're just going to give it a little zip to mix that in there. And that's it. There you have your nature's penicillin. So again, you want to take this and you want to just take a spoonful. An adult should take about a cup a day. Again, a child should take about a half cup a day. Take a tablespoon, take a teaspoon for a child. Take it, if they can't take it, if it's a little too bitter, you can add some honey. Honey has great healing properties as well. Uh, but I just give it like this and then just put the rest in a canning jar or whatever kind of sealing container you have, put it in the fridge and store it in the fridge. You can uh, warm it up a little bit if you want to in a, in a saucepan on the stove prior to giving it or sometimes I just take it out a little bit prior to giving it and take out the serving, let it just sit and warm up a little bit to room temperature. So now we're going to check on our nature's penicillin tea. Let's go see if it's ready. Great, it is. I'm going to grab my pot and strainer. All right, so we now have this nice mixture here and we're just going to pour it off into this strainer. Nice and hot. I love the smell of it. it. Smells good to me. 
I guess I'm going to need my pot here, actually. So we can let it continue to sit and strain. But I'm going to take some out. Right. There we have a nice cup of nature's penicillin. Great antibiotic for your cold, flu, sore throat, whatever you have that ails you to boost your immune system. I wouldn't serve it quite this hot. We'll wait until it cools down and let them take it in. And again, you can take this um, probably about three, four times throughout the day, take about a cup and continue to drink it throughout the day. Or even if you had a more serious condition, you can take it every half hour until you're finished and even when you do that, sometimes by the time you're finished drinking what we have here in this pot, the infection is all gone. So I hope that uh, this has been an encouragement for you and that you've learned something today that you can use that's simple and easy for your body and actually boosts your immune system, has no negative effects on your body. So I encourage you to try some Nature's Penicillin. Thank you.